welcome back to the channel. Lights! Number one. All right, today we have a 17 with 55,000 miles on it, and we have a complaint that the heated steering wheel is inoperative and does not operate correctly. I have verified in the instrument cluster, not in the instrument cluster, excuse me, the infotainment screen that the steering wheel control button uh, only works when the vehicle is on and it does illuminate and indicate that um, it is accepting the button request. So if we go through the workshop manual for um, steering wheel and column electrical components, we go to the symptom chart and pretty much it's self-explanatory as far as our actions. Um, we need to run the self-test on the steering effort control module and see if there are any DTCs. Okay, I have done that. The steering effort control module passes. Everything's good. And if it doesn't have any DTCs, it actually wants us to install a new steering wheel. Now, when I, when I was going through some of the uh, symptom charts here, um, it was asking if the vehicle is equipped with adaptive steering or vehicles without adaptive steering. And I wanted to go over that if anybody has any questions about that or what that is. Um, the adaptive steering provides steering assist to the driver by dynamically changing the steering ratio between the steering wheel and the road wheels, thereby reducing the number of steering wheel turns required to turn the road wheels. This is accomplished through the use of a motor, worm gear, and toothed hub. All adaptive steering system components are inside the steering wheel behind the driver's airbag. So that's some good info if you're um, trying to figure out which pinpoint test step you're going to go through or if this vehicle is equipped with adaptive steering. Um, there are some modules that the truck is equipped with and not equipped with if it has obviously either or. So we're going to go ahead and click on replacing the steering wheel with adaptive steering. We're going to go ahead and make it full screen. So I have to say in my 20 year career, I have never ever had to use a computer to program a steering wheel in. So tonight, today is going to be the first one and you all are going to come with me. So the first part of the PMI process, we have to start by uh, uh, taking all the old data out of the old steering effort control module is going to inhale it out, hold it in the computer, and when we put the new wheel on, it's going to upload all the configuration parameters and blah, 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 uh, ones and zeros up into the new module. So um, we're going to start that right now. So we got our past self-test. We're going to go to the toolbox, module programming, we're going to oops we're going to go to our steering effort control module Whoop, right there we're going to hit enter it's going to ask if this is the VIN for the truck please wait okay this is push button ignition off install a new module in the truck so um, what it wants us to do is I've already gone ahead and just loosely reinstalled this um, this whole thing is just gonna flop down um, I've gone ahead and removed all three 5.5 millis uh, that hold the steering wheel shroud column together you can see it's all loose. So I'm going to go ahead and separate this so we can see everything underneath. Okay, I've gotten the lower shroud off and you can see all of the exposed connectors. We're going to go ahead and remove this one's going to the clock spring and this one is going to the clock spring. Now that one might be a little bugger to get off with one hand. Alright, I need two phalanges. All right, that was definitely tough. 
that little that little guy didn't want to come out of the uh, having a brain fart the uh, um, clock spring duh um, okay so the next part they want you to do is remove the driver's airbag and they say to use a um, three millimeter Allen to go through both holes in the steering wheel I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that or not okay you actually can there is a uh, rod right there that that silver straight thing is what you have to depress on each side of the steering wheel when you do one the horn starts to go off so maybe either disconnect the horn or be real quick but once you get one side you can get the other and the airbag is going to come out like that um, to disconnect we are going to just pop up on this little orange thing like that and then remove that from the airbag yeah so that's what we're looking at right now airbag connector steering wheel um, here's our little steering effort motor most likely um, but yeah so now we got to take out this big Torx and let's see what size that is all right we are a t50 t50 and the best stuff over here working on the best trucks come on Milwaukee where you at baby okay rip it right out oh. can't get my finger in there okay so in theory the steering wheel should come right off I'll see if I can do this with one hand I'm not sure but we're gonna try oh my god it wants to come a little persuasion with the old knee oh all right hold on okay I'm an idiot I left the upper shroud on but it actually the clock spring goes that far in it so I was pulling the top shroud off but now the steering wheel comes right off so if you're thinking about hijacking a Super Duty, don't, because it ain't going to work. But yeah, check it out. Oh my goodness. Here's our clock spring on the back. Steering wheel. Let's go check out the new one, shall we? Ford versus Ferrari. Guess who won? And it wasn't Ferrari. Here's the part number. Very very expensive dun, 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 dun. check it out boys fresh crisp let's take it back to the old truck eh stove pipe that onto your super duty boys ptt keeping the biscuit in the zone i'm just gonna go ahead and set the clock spring back up here you guys can see I got one hole, two holes, three holes. That's where these rubber uh, little dowels go. And then once we get that on and bolted in, we're going to pull this yellow grenade pin so that uh, this is keeping the clock spring from rotating. Uh, that would be very bad. So, uh, yeah, here we go. We're going to install this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and be as ginger as I can. I should have told you in the very beginning, um, please make sure your steering wheels, the front wheels are in the forward straight position. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull this grenade pin now. Get this thing on all the way. Make sure we're, we're on. Let me show you the little rubber feet. See how it's going through the hole right there? And you can see the shaft is, you see the threads right there, they're mated flush. Uh, 
to the bottom of the steering wheel. So we are going to put the bolt in. Okay, bolty, bolty. Bolty going in. The torque is 35 footies. I'm just gonna give it a good rip here. We still got some Loctite on the uh, bolt from removal. She tight. She tight. Um, okay. Let's go downstairs and clip in our hard connector that we had to remove. We got this one right here. Oh, that sounded like it was tough. And that one. And then we can put the fan shroud, the fan shroud, the steering column shrouds on. Okay, steering column shrouds are on. Um, airbag is hooked back up. And it's pretty much just gonna sit right behind there. Um, and then... Yeah, it's in all the way around. Um, so we're all installed, IDS is still hooked up, and our last thing we need to do, or answer, it says install new module when we did it, is turn the key on. Key on. Oop, I hit the turn signal. Turn signal off, key on, enter. Configuring. Please wait. Not doing anything. Module installation complete. Hit the tick mark key off and let's verify the repair I wish there was a, a sensor or something I could see maybe there is let me uh, let's let's look together okay so let me turn the key on let's go to data logger let's go to our module that we were looking at or working on replacing if there was one, that'd be kind of cool. I wish it would have uh, had that information in the in the pinpoint tests. So let's see, we got all this stuff to pick from. We want to read temp. So if anything, can we look for temp? Temp mode mode temp. Temp ECU ECU eternal temp temp. Module internal temp. Let's see time mode mode mode. Current fault mode. I'm not seeing a temp for the actual steering wheel. Let's see what these are. Those are my only three temps I got. What do we got here? Weird. Internal temp. Module internal temp. All right, let's see what happens. Let's turn this boy on. Yeah, babe. Go ahead and turn our heated steering wheel on. Let's see if anything happens to our temps. I don't think so. But I'm feeling the steering wheel to see if, if we're going to start heating up. Alright, one of the last things we're going to do, we have to, using the diagnostic scan tool, complete the following sequence in the order shown following the on-screen instructions. We have to do the steering wheel angle trim and steering wheel motor angle trim. So we're doing wheel and then the motor. Okay? Gonna do the wheel. Yep. Yep. Okay, we're just waiting. Okay. Doing this thing for sixty seconds. Okay, it wants us to start the engine. Do not depress the throttle. I'm hearing some clicking going on in the steering wheel. Rotate the steering wheel lock to lock and center once complete. Rotate the steering wheel from lock to lock. And then center. Okay, I'm happy with that. Ignition off. Perform self-test, refer to workshop manual, make sure all DTC has been cleared. Okay, and then it wants us to do the steering motor angle trim. We're gonna answer yes. 
Yes, yes. Okay. Let's just turn the ignition on. Man, we might hear some more stuff coming from the steering wheel. Maybe not. It's doing something. Okay, it wants us to start the engine. Okay, we're gonna take the steering wheel, lock to lock. One. Two. And then we'll go back to straight. Okay, ignition off. Functions complete. Oh yeah, oh yeah, brand new steering wheel. Kind of hard to feel with my gloves. I'm just putting my lips on it. Putting, putting my upper lips on it. Oh yeah, that's definitely warm. Definitely warm. Let's check, uh, check this quadrant. Oh, for sure, oh yeah. So whatever was wrong with this thing is fixed. Steering wheel on. Steering wheel programmed, verified the repair, fresh and crisp. Okay, now I can start to feel it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, you guys, tell me what you think about this in the comment section below. If anybody has had to ever replace their heated steering wheel for not working, and uh, drop me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next Friday. Thanks for watching.